So what you're looking at is a script you wrote in the previous exercise. And what you basically did there is that you asked you asked the user f to enter some input. So the user enter a longitude and a latitude value. And then you pass these values uh, to the new point method. Uh, in this lecture, I'll show you how to actually generate a KML file out of a CSV file. Uh, this is a more efficient way compared to the previous method, so, so compared to the existing script you're looking at now, uh, because using a CSV file you can actually pass many many longitude and latitude values at the same time and get a KML file generated. So now you have to think uh, how do we get the data out of the CSV file. Well, I think I already told you that you can use the pandas library to do just that. Pandas is a powerful data analysis library and it can efficiently read CSV data and manipulate them. So I'm gonna delete these two lines here. Okay, and import the pandas library. Great. Uh, now the CSV file I'm talking about is this one here. So we have two columns and four rows. And I'm gonna keep my file here and my spider here. Good. So what we want to do now is create a data frame object. And we use the CSV method for that. And here we pass in the path of the CSV file. So now we, we already have the data of the CSV file inside Python and we're keeping them in the data frame object. What we want to do now is create a for loop which will iterate through all these four rows and then it will execute the new point method four times. So the new point method will get the longitude and the latitude values for each of these rows. So the idea is that we have to start the loop above the new point method. So let's say for hmm, long lat in Okay, so uh, so far I told you how to iterate with one variable, but not with two variables at the same time. So you used to iterate with one variable through a single list. Here, to iterate with two variables in two lists, we have to use a zip function. So the zip function allows you to iterate through two lists at the same time. And now our lists are, the first list will is going to be the longitude column. So... To access such a list we, we call the data frame and then in the square brackets we write the column name of the data frame which is longitude and then we pass in the second list which is latitude great that's the idea uh, now you want to indent this line here and we don't have any name column in our CSV, so I'm gonna delete this. And then the arguments that we pass here to the course parameter have to reflect the names of the variables here. So I'm gonna pass loan and let. And that's it. Uh, we have something here. It says invalid syntax. Of course, we haven't added the column here. And that's it. And we don't want to iterate through the save method because the idea here is that we will create four points using the new point method. And then once these points have been added to the object, then we just save this object to a KML file. Great. Let's run now. And we have an error. So the error has to do with the long longitude string. And of course I've passed it for the wrong name because the correct name is longitude. Great, let's execute again now. And let's check the KML file. So now we should expect four points in the KML file. And that's how it is. So in this uh, lecture, we leveraged the, the CSV data to create a KML file. And you, you may never have to create KML files in your life, but you may have to process CSV files. And the pandas library is a great library for that. And here you saw how to efficiently iterate through the rows of a CSV file. So I hope you learned something from this lecture and see you in the next lecture.